and welcome back to our channel, Crotelli Cooking Family, where we try to make easy, delicious cooking for all ages. Today, we are going to show you how to make one of my favorite desserts, fruit tarts. And it is made fully from scratch, including the custard. So let's get right into it. First, you want to start by cracking your egg into a large bowl. This is to make the base of the tarts, so the pastry. Then add your sugar and your oil so that it mixes well together because when you add just sugar and egg it makes a bit of a strange mix so if you add the oil straight away it kind of it thickens it out and it makes it more um, it makes it easy to mix so you want to start by doing that then you want to add your baking powder into your flour mix and mix that with a spoon and slowly start to add your flour mix into your liquid mix. You want to do this slowly since this is a dough after all. So you want to make sure it's not too hard. And to be able to tell if it's too hard, you need to make sure that you don't add it all in at once. So once your dough looks pretty good and is sticking together and is sticking coming off the bowl, you can sprinkle a little bit of flour onto your base, onto your board, and start to use your hands, either in the bowl or on the board. and I sprinkled a little bit of flour underneath but if you see that it starts to get really crumbly and just isn't sticking together I suggest add a little bit of water start with a tablespoon at a time until it becomes more dough like that means that it's sticking together it's moist but it's not sticky because when it starts to break apart it means you've added too much flour so you need to add a little bit more liquid and the water will not change the taste or any or won't create any problems so it should be fine Once your dough feels pretty good, you want to put it in a circular shape. It does not have to be perfect, but just so that it's easier to roll out. Then add a little bit of flour to your surface and put a little bit of flour onto your rolling pin, which you will need to flatten your mix. Start to flatten it until it is just maybe one, two centimeters thick. And you don't want it too thick, but you also don't want it too thin. Otherwise, your dough will end up breaking and will not get the desired shape. good to you grab a circular cookie cutter or a round cookie cutter and add a little bit of flour to the surface and start to make circular shaped cuts into your pastry so that you can make the base of the fruit tarts and once you have used that first layer of your pastry put it all back together into a bowl and roll it out again and just keep doing that until you have no more mixture
other shapes, you want to prepare a pan with some parchment paper on the bottom or a silicone mat. And then you want to put two cupcake liners in, um, on, your, on top of each other on your silicone mat or on your tray. And you want to put them upside down. And you want to use the outside part. You need to put your dough on the surface and kind of make it stick to the outside so that it gets that circular bowl-like shape so that it can hold the pastry cream. Once you have done that with all of your circles, you want to put these amazing tarts into your 180 degree preheated oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. I could, would recommend putting them in for 12 minutes and then taking them out. They should not look too golden, but just cooked. So once you take them out of the oven, make sure to let them cool and then leave them aside for the time when we need to fill them. Now we need to start working on our pastry cream. So in a pan, put your milk on low heat and let it simmer. You do not want it to boil, you just want it to simmer. While it is um, heating up, add your sugar and with a whisk start to mix it in very nicely. And then once you have added all of your sugar, you also want to add some vanilla essence to give your custard a little bit of extra taste. Once your milk is heating up, you want to start by preparing another bowl and in that bowl you want to crack two egg yolks and one whole egg that includes egg yolk and egg white. your eggs start to mix them and add your sugar very slowly and mix that in too once your sugar and egg are well combined add your cornstarch another option if you cannot find cornstarch or you don't have any is arrowroot this also works really well I have tried it with this recipe and it also works. So just really put it in and mix it and make sure it is really, really well incorporated and there are no clumps. Now that this mix is ready, you want to head back on over to the stove and you want to add a bit of your warmed milk into your bowl with your eggs and sugar. Just add a tiny bit and whisk it with your whisk. Once you have mixed it, put your egg mix back into the pan with your milk while it is still on low heat and start to mix it. You will see immediately that within two minutes, it will start to thicken up really nicely. So keep on mixing it until you see that it's coming to a cream slash custard like consistency. has reached a cream or custard like consistency let it cool a little bit and transfer it to another bowl your custard is now pretty much ready but it needs to chill for at least four hours I recommend to leave it in the fridge overnight but to make sure that your custard does not make a funny layer on top you want to do this little trick with some cling wrap. You want to put it just on the surface of your custard 
do not press too hard but just enough so that it sticks to the front of your custard and also stick it to the sides of the bowl. This will prevent from any film to creating on top of your custard so that it is nice and fresh. And before putting it in the fridge, make sure to let it cool down completely. So the morning after or after about four to five hours when your custard is ready, you want to take the cling wrap of your custard create a plate full of whatever fruits you prefer with these tarts it is best to put berries and bananas and grapes those always turn out super well and grab a tart and add about two tablespoons of your custard put them in your tart and start to evenly spread it after you have done that you want to start adding fruits of your choice on top to make it look nice and decorative and to add some flavor. Once you have done that with all of your tarts, there you go. The most gorgeous dessert to look at and also the most mouth-watering dessert. It is so good and so worthwhile making. We hope you enjoyed this recipe. Make sure to try it and let us know how it is. Buon appetito! Alla prossima!